Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be re-watching one of my favorite movies from last year, that being Spider-Man No Way Home, and I think we all know why we're here. Obviously, because this is one of the best movies from last year, but reliving these moments from this movie is something magical, and I don't know how I'm going to feel after re-watching these, especially on a computer screen compared to a theater screen. I saw this movie five times whenever it was in theaters, and every single time, every single moment, every single time I was in the theater with different audiences, so many cheers, so many claps, so much excitement coming from those theaters. It's just unreal how much, how much awe and wonder came off of the screen from this movie so i'm excited to relive those moments whether that's because of the cameos that show up towards the end of this movie with andrew garfield and Tobey mcguire coming back to play their respective spider-man from their universe or bringing in the villains from their universe who are fighting all three of the different versions of spider-man or because this movie is one of the most ideal and important and true to the character spider-man movies that we have gotten so far in my personal opinion this is one of the best this is in the top top three i think this is my second favorite behind spider-man 2 still but this movie just really did something special i i really can't get across this point more than enough i i don't know i've been covering this movie ever since june of last year leading up to the release of this movie i covered it constantly that shows how much i was involved how much i was excited for this movie to come out and it really was something special whenever it came out and i just think it was the most true to the character and especially by the end they're setting up this great storyline that they could possibly be exploring with two more trilogies as it's currently rumored um this trilogy obviously being the high school trilogy the next trilogy being the college trilogy and the last and final trilogy being his early adult years um and him living out his life we don't know if that's going to be with mj or if gwen stacy's going to be involved somehow but i'm really curious to see how they're going to do that in the future but for now we have this movie and we get to relive all of the amazing and magical moments that we got to see in theaters just a few short months ago but before we get started i just want to say if you guys are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button like button turning on post notifications what you guys want to do to support the channel i would greatly appreciate it if you guys want to see the full-length version of this rewatch slash reaction i will have it up on the membership page and if you guys want to see any of the other tv shows and movies that i'm covering right now the full-length versions of that that is they are also up on the membership page and if you you guys are already members thank you so much i greatly appreciate it so without further ado i'm super excited so let's go spider-man's name is peter parker what the f i love how they so flawlessly put the two together the ending of no or sorry the ending of far from home into the beginning of noah home it's it's so good and like even the edits the edits on youtube highlight how good the transition is it's crazy because there's people like that. Rogers. Even like the little hints beforehand that we could possibly be getting Toby and Andrew in the movie, like with the with the Roosevelt Island uh, tram thing. I don't know what those things are called. I don't live in New York. I don't have those things where I'm from. Is that Delmore? Is it the same, like, location as the previous movies? Like, in Homecoming, especially? Because, I mean, I guess we didn't really see it in Far From Home. We just saw it in the deleted scene. I just feel so dumb. I didn't realize you were miserable. No, it was really fun, right? You know, that's why they call it a fling. I shouldn't see what that no. is. No. <laughs> I wonder how long it took him to do this one take because they all did such a good job just playing this out like it was just one big scene which it is I think that was improvised I mean maybe it's not such a big deal spider menace Governments around the world launch investigation who for years has been terrorizing the decent citizens. <laughs> it just goes to show you like what what Spider-Man really did to J. Jonah Jameson. Like what his exposure. He got so much exposure just from talking about how bad Peter Parker and how bad Spider Spider Spider-Man were. Nick Fury was there the entire time. Just ask him and he can explain everything. Nick Fury has been off planet for the last year. What? It's another thing. Um, 
excited to see how they tie that in. Like, who actually knew Nick Fury was at the sword station? Can we get Ned a snack, please? Absolutely. He's been waiting here. I got you, I got you. Dude, I'm so <laughs> sorry about that. When MJ told you that Peter was Spider-Man... Uh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, what's up? I, I knew way before MJ did. I, I was Spider-Man's guy in the chair. I literally helped him find the vulture. I didn't... In the reflection, you see all the people listening. So, in Spider-Man's illegal vigilantism, you were his main accomplice. I would like to have my words stricken from the record. <laughs> Dark technology. Here it comes, here it comes. <clears throat> oh, dude, I still cannot believe they actually brought him back. Like, I, I knew everybody was hoping. I knew about all the rumors, obviously. I, I'd been covering them leading up to this movie, but... <laughs> However, Mr. Hogan, yes, the feds are actively investigating that missing technology. It's one thing I miss, and I think I'm just catching on to it. The missing technology is what they they use to make like the Stark reactor and and the the um, the cures, I guess, in Happy's apartment, right? That's the missing technology that they're talking about, and that's why whenever Peter finds it, he's like, "Oh, happy." <laughs> How did you just do that? I'm a really good lawyer. There has to be a longer scene with Matt Murdock, right? Like the court scene that we kept hearing about all throughout the leaks. Because everything else was so accurately portrayed from the leaks to on screen, except that. Everybody was talking about the court scene. Nobody was talking about this scene, which which is weird. Oh, what's his brother's name? Harry? I feel bad they cut that scene of him getting the paint thrown at him. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. You think I'm being too pragmatic? No, 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 no. Well, I did just catch on to something else. His phone screen's cracked, and we kept seeing him like fumble with his phone at the end of the last movie while he was swinging. Wrap it up. You both like each other. We get it. Hang up. MJ says hi. Hello. <laughs> I love Happy. Go get him, Tiger. Or should I say, Spider? Yeah. Isn't that like her agent in real life? The duo flip guy went from San Francisco and uh, Shang Chi to to this. Well, I guess when Shang Chi play take place? Answer that down below. Somebody tell me when that movie takes place compared to this, because I know this is still like 2019, 2020, right? Or no, no. What am I talking about? This is like 2023. I forgot about the blip. <laughs> I love this part. Peter, we would love to welcome you back. Edible's face. Some of the students put this together for you. No, you did that. I, you did that. I helped a little bit. And oh, wow. I tried to stop you so many times, but you powered through. I love the doctored picture of him in with MJ and Peter. I can't imagine what this would be like, though. And we'll all be together. Yeah, we will all be together. <laughs> Fresh start. Fresh start. Last one. No more three. <laughs> Poor dummy. In light of recent controversy, we are unable to consider your application at this time. It's just crazy because that kind of stuff actually happens. In the sense that you know somebody that's been in like a controversial subject or something of the matter. They reject you too. I better get going. There's a dead mixer for new admissions and sorry guys. It's funny like seeing Flash in this movie compared to like the Maguire and Garfield movies just because like Flash in this is like sarcastically mean. Like it, it's so Gen Z type of humor and like jokes and picking on people compared to like the early 2000s and like early 2010s of like actually beating people up the standard way of bullying people i guess in those kind of movies this is like verbal violence more or less physical violence the sorcerer supreme has high duties yes wait i thought you were the sorcerer supreme no he got it on a technicality because i flipped for five years well then, 
I never understood why Strange just wouldn't get it back because he was originally a Sorcerer Supreme. And while he's gone, I understand that somebody else takes over, but you'd think, like, once he comes back, he'd get it again. Okay, uh, Steven. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. I like how that's an on ongoing joke in this movie. You've actually generated a good idea. What? The runes of Kafka. The runes of Kafka. <laughs> Seems so amazed. Nice knowing you, Spider-Man. Uh, can't some people still know? I like how they do those little subtle details, like Tom Holland miming the fact that the rune was going to be in the way, so he like looked and like backed up. Because obviously that rune's not there in real life. They do a good job at adding those little details and little acting, subtle acting moments into these movies. Did you, did you just stop talking? Oh, that's the same thing uh, Thor was messing with in Ragnarok. He broke it. Did it work? No. You changed my spell six times. I'm so sorry about you and your friends not getting into college, but if they rejected you and you tried to convince them to reconsider, there's nothing else you can do. I can do that? You haven't called them? Well, I mean, I got their letter and I... Dude, what? I'm busy. Flash, where's the MIT mixer? Why? Because I need to come and talk to someone. I'm trying to get Ned and MJ a second chance of getting in. Thing is... I don't understand how he got an MIT after the book. I don't know if it's like the fact that people didn't believe it. And he thought it was, he knew he was, they knew he was just making stuff up. It was in the book. When this shot came on, everybody in my theater went wild because they knew it was coming. They knew Doc Ock and the whole bridge sequence was, was coming through this scene. Yeah, I can see you. Oh, that CG was not good. I just noticed how bad that CG was. And I just noticed the transition right there from CG to real Tom Holland. See, like, even when she closed the book, she was like... As if she knew it was all bullshit. MJ Watson and Ned Lees are the two smartest people I've ever met in my entire life. And I'm the dumbest person because... MIT is dumb? Right, so please don't, don't let MIT be dumb like me. MIT is dumb? Basically what I'm trying to... Just so good. Hello, Peter. Hi. Do you want to play a game? Catch! <laughs> My face already hurts from smiling. I've been smiling since the beginning of this movie. You think your fancy new suit's gonna save you? I think they gave a little too much away in the trailers and like even in the TV spots. Well, really, just generally this scene. They gave pretty much the entire thing away in the trailers. I love that shot. I like this one too. I just like the whole dynamic of like the Iron Spider arms versus the Doc Ock arms, the tentacles. That's cool. I didn't notice how it like sprawled out like that for more support. This moment too. Technology. Whenever he realizes it's not the same Peter Parker. I guess I gotta be more specific. Like the press screening I went to, the crowds were vibrant but not as crazy as the, the second and third time, especially whenever I saw this movie. You're not Peter Parker. I am so confused right now. Yeah, the third showing it was like a group of me and like 12, 12 of my friends. People in Spider-Man costumes. Some dude had a Green Goblin costume on. It was, it was really cool. Now who are you? What is going on? <laughs> Osborne. When they did that wipe, at first I was so disappointed because I actually thought they were going to you know, face off on the bridge and they were just hiding that in the trailers. I think if they did face off on the bridge, it would have meant a little bit more later whenever they showed down on the shield of the Statue of Liberty. 
And I don't like the design of the lizard in this movie. Very CG. But I guess in Amazing Spider-Man, it was a little bit too realistic. I, I guess it's kind of the balance between the two, but I don't know how to feel about it. I shouldn't say too CG, too cartoonish. Frankly, the multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. Damn, I cannot wait till Multiverse of Madness. After you left, I detected an otherworldly presence. I pursued it into the sewers where I found that slimy green son of a gun. Like in those shadowed shots, he looks, looks really good. Do you know a Peter Parker who's Spider-Man? Yes. Is that him? No. See? Crowd's got a good kick out of that one, too. On the bridge. He was like a... Like a flying green elf. <laughs> he sounds jolly. Why don't you start with him? <laughs> sounds jolly. I love it. If the school sees me fighting these crazy monsters, then... Hey, watch your mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> still talking about college. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, what did you just do? Did he turn what was left of the Iron Spider suit into that gauntlet? Or just a portion of it? Because I, I can't remember if it makes a reappearance. I ought to. I saw the movie five times. Yeah, because I guess he's wearing the red and black suit later. Get on your phones, scour the internet, and Scooby Doo this shit. <laughs> You're telling us this delivery. Like Scooby Doo this, this shit. Is... You can work in the Undercroft. The Undercroft? <laughs> Badass. Ah, oh, the Columbia. The Columbia sweatshirts in the back. It's the college Doc Strange went to, if you guys didn't know. Oh, dude, I, I don't care. It's seriously not a big deal. Um, oh, a torture rack. A torture rack. <laughs> that is a Pilates machine. Hey, who the hell are these two? These are my friends. This is MJ and uh, this is Ned. Hello. Oh, is that a dinosaur? Yeah, see, like that shot, it just, I don't know. It looks really CG. I think I think I believe it now whenever whenever people were saying like they they were down to the line on CG working on the CG. I think it was like the week before, like not even the week before they just finished. It's got to be the guy I saw on the bridge, right? It's impossible. You know him, don't you? What happened to Wait, tire! Of your questions, boy! That scared the shit out of me at the press screening. Because Norman Osborne died years ago. I do like the connections that they have. Like, even, like, the conversations, the dialogue between the villains. Connecting them to the same universes or different universes. Like, whenever Electra says something about, like, uh, a different universe... Why does he have all this stuff in the fridge? Like, experiments? Because I know he's not eating that stuff. I was expecting a jump scare. You guys know I hate jump scares. I was sitting like this in the theater just getting ready for it. Thought Sam was going to pop out at him. I like how they kept him blue at first. Just to show like he is coming from the same, same universe as Andrew Garfield. And he just gets that power and regains the human structure just from the power, from the power lines, I guess. I guess that's really not fully explained, but I guess you can get a better explanation from actually watching than being told. Same music from the web movies, too. Peter, it's me, Glenn Marco. You remember? That CG looks really good, especially in this shot. Different Peter. Weird. Thanks. Sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I got my body back. I don't know. This must be a acquired taste, but I like how. Jamie Foxx is more Jamie Foxx in this movie than the Electro from Amazing Spider-Man 2. I don't know. I feel like it fits better, especially in this movie. It's actually my fault that you're here. Like, like the universe or the woods? I hate the woods. I hate the woods. I the universe. Y'all just gonna stand here and act like I ain't butt-ass naked? <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh... 
I like the costume too. That's one of my favorite touches. Like the electrical worker outfit. Uh, did those guys come through yet? There should be an electric guy and a sand guy. Yeah, they're they're all here and locked up. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna just stay here. <laughs> See him messing with the tree. Damage so they don't blame it on me again. Okay. I don't know how he thinks yeah. he's fixing that. Okay, I heard they changed this scene. I don't know if on the digital version they change it. Hiding from who you truly are. Oh. Is this costume CG? I get a little bit of a floaty head vibe from that. I don't know why they would make it CG if it is. I don't know. Maybe the background was green screen and that's why it's throwing me off. I don't know. Hey, man. Just seemed I'm weird. At work and, um, one of the guys you're looking for just walked in. I'm really hoping in the next trilogy we get a Miles Morales connection with Feast. Wait, so you want Spider-Man's help? He, he just wandered in. Someone's living in my house. Oscorp doesn't exist. It was weird to know that Oscorp doesn't exist in this universe. I was half expecting it too. We just hadn't seen it yet, but I guess with like all the storylines, it would kind of be weird if we hadn't seen it yet. Maybe it'll be Harry Osborn that founds the Oscorp Corporation. Mental and physical issues. Well, he needs help, and maybe they all. I didn't notice that. How did I not notice that? He's sneaking donuts or food or whatever that is. My God, I've seen the movie five times. How have I not seen that? After a brief word from Daily Bugle Supplements, the only other <laughs> daily fix you need. And we're up. See what I mean? Like from where he was in the beginning to where he is now, like having a full professional setup in an actual studio rather than his studio apartment with a green screen. Just goes to show you what one story can do for a reporter. You, Doc Ock, drown in the river with your machine. That's nonsense. I had him by the throat and then I... So, and then he gets electrocuted, right? So I guess that's the little switch. Because then after he gets electrocuted, the arms are out of commission in the Spider-Man 2 movie. What is that? It's an ancient relic, the Machina de Cadavis. We can't send them back. Not yet. Why? Oh, some of these guys are going to die. Love this scene. I'll admit, the CG looks weird in some places in this movie, but it's made up for for a lot of these shots. Like, I love that shot of him getting pushed out of his body. You should not be able to do that. This feels amazing. Is it ever explained how he's able to do that? Or is it just theories? Because I really don't know. Hey, get off of me! Liz on the People magazine. Oh, the sound design is so good in this movie. You can really tell he's holding back, like trying not to hurt Peter. Cause he would whoop his ass. I love how much thought they put into like these little fights in the mirror dimension. Like the actual like brains and the statistics that go into that. Don't do this. Ow. I'm sorry, sir, but... Is there no gravity? Because I just noticed it was just floating in the air. I thought at first, like, maybe it was just like a theater viewing that I that I thought it was like up on a string, up on a web. What do you mean fix us? Look, our technology is advanced. I can help you. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. <laughs> they really knew what to put in this movie. Like all the memes and whatnot. A second chance. I mean, come on, isn't that worth trying? So when he sends them back at the end of the movie, and since they're all cured in one way or another, does that create a branch timeline like it's explained in Endgame? I've just realized this rewatch is literally turning into, like, a q and I'm asking the questions and you guys are answering. So, uh, who's coming with me? I wish they would have kept the elevator scene in. Oh, oh sorry. 
<laughs> Wiping sand off with sand. What the hell is that? It's a fabricator. It can analyze, design, construct basically anything. Yeah, that's got to be the missing technology. I guess I just missed it somehow. I... Right over my head. <laughs> so the chip What's going on, man? The chip is fried, so rather than him being in control of the tentacles, the tentacles are now in control of him. So I really like seeing them work together. I know it's so weird, you know, us just knowing that it's really Green Goblin after this scene. I don't know, I just like their dynamic. Keep your science fair project away from me! Hey, it'll work, have faith, says the reckless fool who turned himself into a monster. His face said it all, touche. When I get out of this, we're gonna rip you and you Dr. Octavius. I do like how he gets that. That's cool. But way too many suits in this movie. Even though I like the look of them, I, I get it's all for toys and stuff like that but a little too much is that a cyborg you bring a cyborg with robot legs into my house you know, one of the guys made a mud what's going on call me back <laughs> made a mud forgot about a lot like a lot of the jokes in this movie i guess it's just kind of something that doesn't stick out as much compared to a lot of the other stuff in this movie just you just me like how i use the green goblin voice there <laughs> it's your legos sure are these your Legos? I'm like contradicting myself here. I just said the jokes don't really stick with you, and then I just oh caught God. off the line. I love the mounted shot. Like hey. the muffled footsteps. That's some neat trick. That sense of yours. Norman? Norman's on sabbatical, honey. We take... Me. Run. This would have been the perfect scene for him to say Godspeed Spider-Man. Just blows my mind that Willem Dafoe did all of his own stunts in this movie. Or as many as he could possibly do. I love that. I love how he just thwips the glass, pulls it so it breaks. Hey, run, please. I don't even know how she got up from that. You can thank me later. As sad as the scene is, it's such a good scene. The fact that she gets up is just so unrealistic. Like, in the actual animation of her getting hit by the glider, and I'm sure she got impaled too, and that's why she was bleeding, or unless it was just like, you know, blunt force trauma. She got trucked. She did a really good job on the scene, like, shaking. You have power. And with great power, there must also come great responsibility. A lot of people had a problem with her saying that line. I didn't at all. I think it fits so well. You know, she's this universe's Uncle Ben. Because, I mean, he's the same age as when Toby's Spider, Spider-Man and Andrew's Spider-Man both lost their Uncle Ben's. So it, it's kind of parallel in the sense. They were seniors in high school. Me? Forgot how dark this scene was. Because, I mean, you're really not expecting it. Like, especially if you weren't into, like, the leaks or the rumors or anything. And then that scene into the next, this well, next scene is just crazy-ass transition. Ooh, here we go. I just wish, I just wish we could see him. Ned? Yeah? Do that again. Just wish we could see Peter. Dude, before he even jumps through, the audience is like, oh my god, oh my god. You can hear everyone breathing, like. Oh. <laughs> it's just 
is so good. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm a nice, I'm a nice guy. <sighs> oh, dude. I cannot believe they pulled this off. I mean, we all knew it was coming, but like, they just pulled it off so well. Better than any of us could have imagined. You're a deeply mistrusting person. And I respect it. He got so much undeserved hate. I feel so bad. He's such a good Peter Parker. Especially like middle aged Peter Parker. If we were getting like movies with him, like in his adult life, he may not have fit the teenage persona of Peter Parker so well as he does this. He just embodies the adult version of Peter Parker. It's so good. Damn, that's a big cobweb. I opened the wrong portal to the wrong Peter Parker. Yeah, I, I guess you just keep doing it until we find the real one. Ouch. No offense. Find Peter Parker! <laughs> it's just, it's, it's so good. It is so good. Hello? I just can't get over how, how well they pulled this off. And like I said, we all knew it was coming in some form or fashion. And it's just the way they did it that th that surprised us. <laughs> I love how they both do the same moves, but because Toby's older and more experienced, he's a little bit ahead of him. Uh, this might seem kind of weird, but I've been trying to find your friend ever since I got here. I just find it weird, and I just kind of thought about this, and I don't know if it's logical in any way, but I'm going to say it anyway, that... They saw, like, all this crazy stuff going on in the news, and they saw, like, their, their former villains that they had killed in the past, and they didn't intervene in any way. And obviously, they both have their Spider-Man suits, so it's just weird. Like, especially the bridge scene. Like, I just think it's weird that, like, Toby would see that and not intervene, like, knowing it's Doc Ock. The shot of them. I think this is the scene that solidifies it. Andrew Garfield is my favorite Spider-Man. And I'm and I'm not going to say he's always been my favorite Spider-Man just because I grew up in a time where these movies could have been viewed as my my first Spider-Man movies, but I don't know. I've always been back and forth between Toby and Andrew. As much as I love Tom's portrayal as Spider-Man, but I think Andrew's my favorite. I got rageful. Got bitter. I got bitter. Maybe she didn't die for nothing, Peter. This little music cue, everyone in my theater went, oh shit, oh shit, because they thought it was Toby's main theme coming into play. I mean, it's definitely reminiscent of that, but not exactly that. I love how, like, in the background, Andrew's just so in awe of everything. He's so Peter Parker, like that. Do you have a best friend too? I did. He died in my arms. After he tried to kill me. Dude. <laughs> you were uh, on a diagnostic? Yeah. Hobgoblin? Peter! Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Did you mean, did you mean <laughs> death? Or Peter, Peter. We're all called yeah, Peter. We're all, we're all, Peter yeah. Parker. Same, Same again. Best. We're all. <laughs> So wait, are you gonna go into battle dressed as a cool youth pastor, or you got your suit? Hell yeah. Ah, uh, it's my web fluid. It's for my web shooters. Why? No! You can't do that, huh? No. How on earth does that even? Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. See what I mean? He's just so in awe of everything. It's so good. He's still looking. And I promise you, I won't turn into a supervillain and try to kill you. Okay. It's already been two hours. No, it hasn't. It's been an hour and 40 minutes, though. Like, just watching this movie, time's flown. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> you okay? Oh, my back. My back. You, you want me to crack it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that was it. The infamous leaked set photos and video. I cannot believe they they continued to deny it after that. I mean, I guess they had to. 
What are like some of the craziest villains that you guys have fought? I, I fought a an alien made out of black goo once. Oh no way! I fought an alien too. I'm lame compared. Like I fought a Russian guy in a like a rhinoceros machine. Can, can we rewind it back to the I'm lame part? Because you are not. You're amazing. Just to take it in for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can you, take it in. No, I can take you it in. are amazing. I can take it in. You are amazing. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thanks. Will you say it? Thank you. Will you say it? I, I, spoke so, I guess it's kind of a nice change of pace that I get to react out loud like, like this. Hey, Max! I missed you, man! Ah! My old friend Spider-Man. trying to save you, Max. That's all I've ever wanted. It's, it looks so me. good. I am. <laughs> Why were there just trucks full of sand? Does somebody want to explain that to me? But I thought you were Peter too. What? I, I'm I, not Peter. Stop arguing, both of you. Listen to Peter one. <laughs> His face. I was in the Avengers. The Avengers? Yeah. That's great. Thank you. What is what that? What is that? The Avengers is the, the Earth's finest. How is this helping? Look. Classic Toby yell. All right, let's do this. It's just so good. I love how he whips both of them up to him. It's okay, Flint. We're gonna get you home. It's a shame they couldn't get him or... Oh, how do you pronounce his name? Risa Fons? That's probably not... I'm probably butchering that, but it's a shame they couldn't get them to come back. And I know they had to use, like, archive footage, and that's what that was. But it still turned out good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice that his lenses were cracking. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Peter's plan is working. What plan? He's curing them. Did you just open a portal? Yes, yes, sir, I did. Hmm. Hmm. You got that suit. You help a lot of poor people. I just thought you was gonna be black. Oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's gotta be a black Spider-Man somewhere out there. And there is. Damn, I can't wait to see him in the MCU. God, I hope they do that. I really hope they do. Can the Spider-Man come out to play? <laughs> I was really hoping this would happen and I'm going to post it later on. Everybody was like, yeah, save her, save her. And then there was this like one little kid in the audience that I actually recorded who goes, don't let him save her. Like, I don't know if he wanted her to die or like, I don't know what was going on in that kid's head. I gotta watch this carefully. See who I can see in the cracks. This fight seems so good. He really sells those punches too. This move right here, I love it. When he got stabbed the first time I saw it, I was like, dude, there's no way. There's no way they kill him. And I wonder if they actually filmed a death scene because they they said that they filmed like a bunch of different endings, right? Is that happening or am I dying? Oh, yeah, no, that's happening. That's real. Are there people in the sky? Craven. They're here. Rhino. They're here. They're coming here because of me, right? Because I'm Peter Parker, so cast a new spell. But this time, make everyone forget who Peter Parker is. Make everyone forget. You gotta understand, that would mean that everyone who knows and loves you, we, we'd have no memory of you. You never know. He may have cast it so, like, everyone except for me forgets that Peter Parker is Peter Parker. He could have done it that way. That question might be answered in Multiverse of Madness. You never know. 
I, uh... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to see them on screen again. All three of them. Like, this was enough, but it wasn't enough at the same time. If that makes any sense. Just want more, because it was so good. There's nothing we can do. It'll be okay. This is what I meant in the beginning, in the intro, whenever I said, this is the ideal Spider-Man. He knows what he has to do. And he does it, even though it hurts him. He does it anyway. Because he knows it's what's best. It's so like Ned and MJ, whenever they get their memories wiped, they just wake up and realize they're at the destruction of the Statue of Liberty. Like, how the hell did I get here kind of scenario? Like, they, they ought to think something's up. Hi. My name is Peter Parker. You don't know me, but I... Uh... This scene is so heartbreaking to watch just because everything it entails. Him just having to go through that, like watching his loved ones, his friends, go through with their lives without him. I can't imagine what that would be like. And I would like a coffee, please. All right, we should probably know that. Look at you with the school spirit. Well, they're friends because of Peter Parker, though, right? Like, they weren't friends before Homecoming. I mean, that has to do with, like, all the pictures and stuff, too. Like, that that MJ has in her room of her and Ned. No Peter. Really don't know the full story of how that works, but... And she still has the necklace on, so... We don't really know how that's gonna... How that's gonna tie into future plot points. Is there anything else? See, that's the decision. Just to walk away. Let it go, knowing it's hurting him, but it's letting them go from danger. Okay, so like, say Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man were somehow to come back. Would he remember who Peter Parker was? But he would remember who Spider-Man was. But all of his encounters with Spider-Man, he knew who Peter Parker was. Like, I'd like to see, like, how deep... The remembrance of like Peter Parker into Spider-Man and how that kind of ties in, how all that works. Because I mean, there's a lot of unanswered questions, and I think mystery is good in the sense of that question, but How'd you know her? I'm still curious. Rent is due on the first of the month. Don't be late. Oh, man, if they could have got Mr. Dickovich, that'd have been the icing on the cake. Hold on, step back. That'd have been like the the fourth layer of icing on the cake, on top of everything they achieved in this movie. New suit, new identity, new Spider-Man. I, I still love it. It's still, it's still amazing. No pun intended. It, it just, it just still leaves me in awe at how they were able to accomplish what they did in this movie. I mean, with, with how much they had to deal with and how much continuity they had to they had to shuffle around and make sure it wasn't broken it it's just and of course there are plot holes in this movie and there there are moments that are like hmm 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 and even i question them in this movie but it doesn't take away from the enjoyment it's just what they were able to do is just really something special, and I don't think it's ever going to be forgotten. And I'm going to continue to rewatch this movie over and over again because it's just that good. It really is that good. It's it's unforgettable in a sense. And like I kept reminiscing about throughout the entire movie, like the different audience reactions for the different scenes really just made it. It really just solidified how much love there is for this character and not only this specific P Peter Parker and for the MCU, but how much love there is for this overall world of Spider-Man, just the character in general. It's, it's, it's really outstanding to see. We're going to watch the first post credit scene only because the, the second one's the, 
Doctor Strange 2 trailer. And it was a really angry green man. Hulk. Hulk. Yeah, and you thought Nathan Protector was a shit name. Yeah, because... Because it is. No. Hey, maybe I... Maybe I should go to New York and speak to this, uh... Spider-Man. What is happening? No! No, we just got here! No, not again! Oh. And he's just unfazed as to what just happened because he's so used to seeing it at this point. I'm excited to see what they do with that. Um, oh, oh, it's going to be good. Yeah, they kept the Doctor Strange trailer at the end. We're not going to watch it because, I mean, obviously I've seen it millions of times. But I, I, kinda, I was kind of disappointed whenever I first saw it that Eddie Brock this version of Eddie Brock wasn't going to be in the MCU to interact with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. And you never know, it, it could happen in the future, but they're definitely not setting that aspect of the storyline up. But leaving the piece of the symbiote behind of Venom to attach to Peter Parker and then maybe this, this universe's Eddie Brock is something really, really cool. And uh, I'd be curious to see who they'd cast as an MCU Eddie Brock. But I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I, I love that post credit scene. And I, I love this movie, dude. It's just... And re-watching it for the sixth time now, it just solidifies it as, as one of my favorite Spider-Man movies. And like I said, it's up there with... I can't really pick a favorite between like Into the Spider-Verse, this movie, and Spider-Man 2. Those are like the three up top that like could be interchangeable. And obviously Spider-Man 2... That's a that's a whole different level. And then Into the Spider-Verse, that's also a whole different level. They're all on different playing fields. But at the same time, they can all be categorized into like just a category of godly Spider-Man movies. And it it's it's just crazy what they were able to achieve in, in those three movies, and especially this one. I mean, they had like I said, they had so much to work with and so much could have gone wrong, but they stuck through it and somehow they were able to encapture the audience with this vision that they had and obviously they told it right. So let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. What do you guys think about this movie in general? We can start a discussion down there. Just keep it friendly. But I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, please consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, turning on post notifications. Whatever you guys want to do to support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys want to see the full-length version of this reaction or other reactions that I have up on the channel to movies or TV shows, I'm currently covering Gravity Falls, and Peacemaker should be ending in the next week or two whenever you guys are seeing this video. Um, you guys can become members to see the full-length versions of those reactions. And if you guys are already members, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. So, hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you all in the next one.